Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Rome for you. Let's look at how OS 4.2 based upon Android 11 running on Xiaomi Poco F1. Before getting started, don't forget to subscribe my channel and enable bell icon. As you see, I'm using latest version of iOS 4.2. I haven't rooted my device nor did flat any custom kernel. This is going to be a out of box review of Havocoyas 4.2. The ROM comes with the latest security patch 5th February 2021 and SE Linux is by default enforcing. Kernel version they are using is Silver Core 8.3. The ROM does pass us safety net checks out of the box so you won't be facing any kind of issues with banking applications since this is official build i haven't faced any major lags or jitters so far when it comes to drop down panel it does provide you the screen recorder plus fps info plus cpu info and gaming mode you can use gaming mode to disable any notification during your gaming time and FPS info to see any kind of frame drops. You can use CPU info to monitor core utilization while gaming and it does comes with a screen recorder. Since it is from Android 11, it does support device audio and microphone recording at a time. I haven't faced any kind of lags or jitters after enabling screen recorder. When it comes to security, ROMs does support IR face unlock feature which works perfectly neat. Let's talk about settings panel now. Settings panel contains many different customization. There is option called as configuration center where they have included many customization options which you guys can play around. Almost all kind of customization does works very neatly. I haven't faced any issue or bugs with these customizations. When it comes to benchmark, Android 2 scores 3 lakhs and 60,000 plus and Geekbench scores are for single score it does scores 414 and multi core 1978 which are pretty decent score for a out of box ROM. So let's talk about gaming now. Since this ROM comes from ASOP base, the ROM does allow you to choose particular thermals for each uh, applications which lies under battery settings. If you want better gaming experience, you should choose them manually. Go to settings and battery optimization thermals and scroll down and choose your applications thermal which you want. I usually use games thermal for my PUBG. So without waiting, let's get into gaming test now. I'll be playing a TDM and a Shanok map with bootcamp. Along with game, I'll be enabling screen recorder and SPS info so that you guys can understand how does this ROM delivers performance in terms of gaming. Team match, let's go. First point for the red team.
Killing spree for the blue team! Great! You're about to win! The red team doesn't have a lot of time left. The match is over, and the blue team is in the lead. <laughs> nice shot! Blue team, team victory! I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going
I didn't notice average experience when it comes to TDM match, but the Rome does struggle a lot while playing Shannock boot camp. There were many frame drops noticed with major lags, so I would like to conclude like this Rome can deliver very decent performance for day to day activities and below average experience with gaming. So do let me know in the comment section what your opinion is. That's all for today. We'll see you with another video. Bye bye and take care.